Bottoms up. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for a movie called Another Round. Well, in my quest to try and find the best movie of 2020, it's going to be a weird list. I'm actually quite interested to see what a lot of other people's lists are. I kept coming across this film. This film does star Mads Mikkelsen, which you may know him from Hannibal, the television show, as well as other projects. And it was also directed by the same director who directed The Hunt. The two team up once again for this film, and it's actually a lot more grounded and a lot more thought-provoking than I thought it would be. The film centers on four Danish teachers who feel like they found kind of a rut in life. They don't really seem to have any purpose. They just kind of are coasting. They don't really have any drive to do anything and it's reflecting in their teachings, their family life, and just their general aspirations. They get together, have a few drinks, and the psychologist of the four suggests a theory, sort of a idea that was set by a previous psychologist about the idea that humanity has a 0.05 alcohol deficiency rating. Pretty much saying that we always have a small alcohol deficiency that prevents us from fully living our lives, being looser, being more inspiring, being more willing to try things. And so they're like, hey, we ain't got anything else going on. All of our marriages seem to be kind of in the pits. We don't seem to have any respect from our students and our colleagues. Let's give it a go. Now, if this was made by an American production company or anything of the sort, like Happy Madison, you could see this being an absolute train wreck. Just an absolute debauchery of bad jokes, bad humor. It would be funny, yes, but it would also just be kind of stupid. This film isn't about that. It does have some humorous elements in it, but it really is more about a cultural look at Denmark and the youth and the way that alcohol is a part of Denmark society. The drinking age out there is 15 if I'm correct. There have been some movements to try and make it a little bit older, but seniors are just people who are older than 15 are the ones who are defending the choice to keep it at 15 because of their youthful experiences with alcohol that age. And it's that cultural awakening that makes this movie so much more interesting than it should be. The film starts with this game that is apparently kind of a tradition out there where you have a case of beer about a 24 case and you have to run around a lake with you and your buddy holding the case at every bench You have to stop and drink an entire beer and then continue on if you're gonna throw up There's a stipulation that if you throw up together you lose a minute But if you throw up separately you gain a minute and then you get to the end of the race drink the last beer And whoever has the shortest time wins and after watching this opening. I thought damn that would be fun as fuck. Most of my thought process while watching this movie was I could just see how it would be made differently out here, but this isn't intentionally meant to be humorous. It's about these guys reawakening themselves, seeing themselves in a different light and having the confidence to do things that they normally wouldn't have because of alcohol. Some of them make improvements in their marriage, some of them have more confidence to be more interactive with their students. There's a scene where Mads is having this kind of interactive back and forth with his students and it's so inspiring. There is this soccer coach for little kids. Yes, I know the idea of drinking around little kids is terrible in concept, but again, the film just makes it work. There's this kid who's called Specs because he's kind of picked on for wearing glasses and he gets a goal and he goes up and hugs his coach and the coach is the one who's been giving him the confidence because he found that confidence in himself through booze and it's actually a really touching scene. I was so invested in this film. I was so invested invested in these characters and eventually they start to raise their limits they start to experiment further it's all a part of a a paper or of sorts an experiment of sorts they start to push it and eventually it goes too far the obvious repercussions come of it it's very very hard hitting and the film gives you a good wallop i wasn't expecting a film with this setting this story to hit me as hard as it did sure this made me want to go to denmark just to see this but i wish i had experienced it at a younger age i understand now those friends of mine who always wanted to go out and explore europe is in their teens i, I never did I I didn't have the money to, but for those who did, this film is essentially their spirits in, in reimagined and shown in a different culture. And it's very entertaining, it's very thought-provoking, and it's really hard-hitting when it needs to be. It does have me ponder a few things. Not just the 0 .05 alcohol all the time thing, which, not going to lie, it's not entirely untrue. You do feel a little bit more confident about yourself when you're a little buzzed, but then you also make a lot more stupid 
mistakes when you're buzzed. Either way though, I very much enjoyed another round. It's not a movie you're gonna want to pick up and watch all the time. I imagine the English dubbing must be terrible. It definitely deserves the recommendations that it's gotten and it will be a definite contender for International Film of the Year if there's any others. <laughs> I really don't know. Another round is definitely going to be on my top 10 list for the year, and I'm going to give it a 6 out of 7. Very, very enjoyable movie, guys. I know it's very odd to suggest it, but if you want a movie that will make you feel better about this year, this is definitely one of them. It's a good end of the year cleanse, I would say. It makes me miss the times that I got to spend with friends and family over a good beer and just getting together and enjoying life. And it makes me anticipate the moment when we can do that again without all of this business going on. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, enjoy your beer but drink responsibly. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.